What's up, doers? It's your boy, Happy Chappy. And on this episode, a challenger has entered the arena. <laughs> so this viewer here challenged me to build an iron farm and raid farm combo. And what I have here is three designs that all spawn in golems and have the ability to kill the ravager whenever it does come in. This design here is actually my favorite one. So this is the one we're going to build in this episode. So let's get into it. So the items that you're going to need for this build are three beds, 11 signs, 64 slabs, eight trap doors, a thing of lava, two water buckets, three workstations, a name tag, two hoppers, two chests, six torches, and then bring some carpet along with you. This is for the lower half where you do the capture area so that way no golems spawn in. And if you're going to build a water elevator to get up and down, these are the items that you're going to need for the water elevator. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is build this somewhere near your pillager farm that we built. So that way you can get bad omen 5 really quickly. Now one thing you got to remember is that if you do build it near the pillager farm over there, you have to keep it far enough away that the pillagers don't get included in with the mob that is coming in to do their raid. So the first thing you're going to do is build yourself a 8x10 pit into the ground here. Okay, once you have your pit done, what you're going to do next is build up the wall for the killing. So build up two and a half blocks and make that four wide. Make sure it is center on the farm too as well. And then what you're going to do is count up three blocks and this is where we're going to put our lava. So put down two signs here. Another one underneath each one. One on the sides up there. And then what you're going to do is put two signs on top of these ones here, on top of these signs here. So put that one down there. And once it's all done, it should look like this. Then add your lava into the killing chamber. You only have to put one lava source. And then outline this whole thing in the slabs that you got. You can even give it a fancy design if you want to. So as you've seen on my other one, this is what it looked like. Okay, once you have that all done, this is what it should look like. Next, what you're going to do is come down here in the middle, place down your two signs here, and then dig out a two wide pit like that. Okay, our next step is to build the villager room. So what we're going to do is dig down here six blocks in total. So we're already down one, two. And once you're down six blocks in total, what you want to do is face towards the pit and dig yourself out a four deep room that is three blocks high and three blocks wide and come to the center here and dig in two blocks and two blocks high. Then on the second one here, dig out the bottom block like that. Place a slab on this block here and then turn around and place your beds so that all the pillows are facing towards the opening here. Then take your workstations, it doesn't matter which ones you use, you can use all three of the same ones if you would like and place them down by the pillows of the beds like that. And once you have all of that in place, Come into the room here and place a temporary block inside the hole there. What you're going to do is open up the menu here and then take note of what you're looking at block is. So as you can see, I'm looking at negative 48, 42, 56, and then 2203. And what you're going to do is then go back to the surface. You can use ladders if you want to. Find that coordinate and dig a hole until you get all the way down into that area there. Climb out and this is the hole where you're going to lure your zombie in. You suck! Gotcha, bitch. Once you have your zombie in place, make sure you close the entire hole up. Then you can drop back down and make sure you give this guy a name tag. Once you've done that, what you want to do is come to the foot part of the bed here. Place down a trap door and then three more trap doors above the workstations there like that. And then take note of what this looking block is here or the looking at block is. So minus 48, 45, 22, 03. And then go back to the top and then do the same thing for the villagers that you did with the zombies. Okay, once your villagers are in place and they have taken up their trays, what you can do is come here and close this all in. And just leave these guys here like that and then climb your way back to the surface and for your water what you want to do is place down a row of water along this entire back edge here and then in order to direct all the water towards the lava pit what you want to do is come down four blocks place another water source there and there 
And as you can see, we have a good current flowing towards the kill chamber there. Once that is all done, all you have to do is create your collection room. So what you want to do is come down at least another six blocks or so. And then dig yourself out a little room that is opposite of the villager pod there. Okay, and once you have your little room dug out, place down your two chests with your hoppers going into it. This is going to be used to collect the items from the raids. Place your trap doors on top of each one. And then build this down here one more block. And place a trap door on each one just like that. And you should be good to go. Next all you have to do is build yourself your water elevator to get back to the surface in order for us to test how this thing works. So in order to do that all you have to do is just dig out one of the corners of the room here. Dig yourself up to the surface. Come down to the bottom. Place down some signs in order to hold the water in. Fill the entire thing with water and then put your soul sand on the bottom. Once you've done that, you should be able to step into it and then get back up to the surface. For the down part, just do the same thing. Dig yourself back up to the surface. Put a honey block, a water block, or a water source at the bottom, just like that, and you should be good to go. Okay, and that is basically it. That is the farm done and ready. As you can see, we are already spawning golems like we've seen. The golems will be pushed into the lava source here and their items will drop and end up down in the pit for you where the hoppers are. Next all you have to do is just kind of protect these things here a little bit from the raid members when they do come in. Just a simple fence like that should work just fine. And then what you want to do is get yourself some bad omens. So we'll head over to the pillager farm here. Okay, once we're at the pillager farm here, as you can see, just by looking down, we have many pillagers already flooding into the system here. They're already on their way up the tubes in the system here. Being directed over to this kill chamber here, and we are good to go. What we are looking for here is the guys with the things above their head, so we don't have any captains yet. Okay, and once you see some captains in the kill chamber there with the flags above their head, you can just take down this entire mob here. And as you can see, just like that, we have Bad Omen 4. Once you have the Bad Omen level that you want, all you have to do is head back to your raid farm and it will be activated. And as you can see, once we get in range of the raid farm here, the raid is activated. All we have to do is head down to our little room here, wait for the raid members to show up, and we are good to go. As you can see, once the raid members show up, they do fall down the pit here. Now you can make this far enough down so that way the raid members are only one hit kill. That is completely up to you. The only problem is, is that as you just heard, the golems do spawn as the raid is happening. So some villagers, or sorry, so some raid members or pillagers end up taking damage from the golem as it is out there defending itself. So depending on how far down you make your pit, the pillagers or raid members may just end up dying as they get down to the hoppers here. So as you can hear, the raid is happening and coming and there is an iron golem up there. As you can see, the damage bar for the raid members are going down, so that means the golem was defending himself. <laughs> Okay, so this is the view of what it looks like from the top here. As you can see, the raid members do spawn in the outskirts here. As you can see on this round, we do have a Ravager coming. So we're going to stand here and I'll show you how that part of the system works. The pillagers just end up pushing themselves down here, as you can see. And when the Ravager comes in... He ends up in the lava and floating to the top. Now, in order to stop him from going up that high, what you can do is just put a simple lower half slab roof there. Fill these all in so it looks nice and even, and then you are good to go. Here we're seeing what happens when the iron golems get mixed in with the raid farm. Okay, and once your raid is complete, you should be rewarded with Hero of the Village, and then you can 
I don't know, find a way to dig up there and collect the items from the villagers that are in that room. But these are the items here that you get from the raids. So as you can see, we've got 61 iron just in the time that the raid happened, as well as all of these totems and other items as well. So as you can see, it's a pretty good farm, works pretty well. The only thing that can happen is that if these two do meet up, you end up getting vexes that do spawn in now now these vexes as you can see once everybody has cleared the area they don't pathfind down towards the villager and they also don't pathfind down towards you as long as you make your kill chamber at least a one hit kill for the evokers as they get down there so so there you have it you guys that is my iron farm raid farm combo tutorial as you can see it is quite the mess when it does get going but it is pretty fun to have there probably is a few other ways that you could do this type of build but so far this is the one that i liked the most as you can see everybody just kind of works their way down the tunnel once the ravager gets out of the way and the amount of items that you do collect when you do combine the pillager farm over there with this farm here is pretty insane. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any other combo farms or challenges that you would like me to do in the future, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. Like I said, if you combine this with the pillager farm there off in the distance, the rates are pretty insane. The golem spawns are on average about 40 something seconds. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good farm. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.